Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to the Barbara A. Sizemore slash Betty Shabazz Charter School show. And today we have, today is our first show. We have a good show for you today. I have a few guests. And first, let me tell you about who we are. We are the Barbara A. Sizemore Academy. We're located at 6547 South Stewart Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60621. If you want to find us on the web, you can go to www.b6, that is B-S-I-C-S dot org. Or if you want to call us, you can reach us at 773-651-1616. So as you can see today, I have a guest. My guest is Kyra, and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Kyra. How old are you, and stuff like that? Well, I'm a dancer, and um, obviously I go to Barbara Sizemore. It's a great school. It teaches about your heritage and things that you do and stuff. And I have great friends. And since I said dancing, it's really fun. It's a really, really fun thing to do. I gotta tell I gotta tell our viewers that I'm also a instructor at uh, Barbara A Sizemore Academy, and Kyra is one of my A1 top of the line star students. Uh, she does very well in school. She uh, is very, um, I mean, we're just a well-rounded young lady. So um, tell us, I mean, what are some of the things that you learned? I know you mentioned this. Uh, you learned a lot about your heritage up at Barbara Sizemore. What are some of the other things, like as far as classes, that you uh, enjoy uh, learning about? I enjoy learning about music. About music, you have you took music class. Mm -hmm. And what what class did you take with me? Digital media art. And what are some of the things like you learned in digital media? What are some of the things I taught you? We learned how to use some complicated technology, mm -hmm. like the microphone and like the USB cords and like how to hook them up and stuff. We learned how to use the cameras. Mm -hmm. Those are some tricky things because it's a lot of buttons to press. And we also learned, because we like took a test and mm -hmm. the test was pretty cool. Pretty yeah, easy. I plan on showing um, some of you all. I'm going to show some videos today in the show, but I plan on showing some of the stuff that Kyra worked on. Probably not this week, but we'll show some of the stuff she worked on uh, with her class. What class, What grade are you in, Kyra? I'm in sixth grade. Sixth grade. And um, so how long have you been going to the Barbara Sizemore Academy? Two years and the best two years of my life. Two years? What school did you attend before that? I went to Benjamin e. Mays Academy. And 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 in comparison, you like Bossa a lot better, huh? Yeah. I mean, you get to learn about your heritage. What do you know the language that some of the words we learn there? What what languages that we speak there at Bossa? African. African. I think it's uh the actual dialect is like uh Swahili. Oh yes, yeah, Swahili. Yeah. So they learn a lot of things about uh Nguzo Saba about the uh, principles of of my, of my art, you know. Uh give me one of the one of your favorite principles of Nguzo Saba or my, uh, the, my art. What's one of your principles that you try to live by? Unity. Unity. And and how do you express like unity? Like what do you do to like unify? First, if I, I like to solve as I like to solve conflicts because a lot of people they just don't know when to like stop. Like so you kind of get in and be the mediator. Yep, I'm the uh, I'm the peacemaker. Peacemaker. Okay, that's good. <laughs> That's good. So, um, well, let me ask you this. Uh, we just got back to school. We have been off of school for about two weeks or so. Um, well, I mean, what were some of the things that you did um, during this little break that we had? Well, I went to visit my grandmother. Uh, I also, we went to the movie theater. Mm -hmm. What did you go see? We went to see Jumanji. Jumanji, okay. That, that was a good movie. All right, what else did you do? I stayed at home with my parents. Spent a lot of time with the family. Yeah, I love spending time with my family. 
I know a lot of people don't really celebrate Christmas. I know we don't really celebrate Christmas over at Basa, but we do enjoy the holidays and the holiday season. And I, even though I don't technically celebrate Christmas, I do love the holiday season and I like spending time with family. And I do occasionally buy gifts here and there. But I wanted to ask Kyra, was it anything over this uh, break that you received, like a special gift or a gift you might have wanted? Was it anything special you might have got? A family. A family? <laughs> That's good. That's good. Well, I mean, what, um, so you have like siblings and all that stuff that go to the, um, school? Yeah, I have a seven year old sister and mm -hmm. a 12 year old brother. 12 year old brother. And, um, all y'all get along and all that stuff? <laughs> yeah, we Try do. Try to. We do. Yeah, we do things other siblings do. We fight. fight. <laughs> <laughs> well that's good that's good I mean but I, I do see you all around campus and it does seem like y'all do get along pretty good um, once again I just want to go uh, let you all know for those that are just now tuning in I just want to let you know that we are here representing the Barbara A. Sizemore Academy we're located at 6547 South Stewart Avenue uh, in Chicago, Illinois 60621 uh, you can reach us at 773-651-1616 or you can follow us on the web at www.b6.org. I also want to mention that we do have like a YouTube presence. If you go to YouTube right now and type in Barbara A. Sizemore Academy or type in BASA, that's B-A-S-A, -A, um, with a space and um, maybe digital media arts. Some of our videos will pop up. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to, do you mind if we roll into a video, kind of show some of the stuff we've been doing over there? Sure. So let's, to, right now I'm going to show you a video that was done by some fourth graders. They did a music video uh, about Kwanzaa because Kwanzaa just passed and they did like some Kwanzaa projects and uh, some of my fourth graders came up with a music video. So let me run into that real quick. for some fourth graders. For some fourth graders. Very talented. Very talented. So, um, those were just like some of the things we learned up at the school. Um, but I want to like transition a little bit um, and ask Kyra. Um, she's, I, I do want to mention, look, Kyra is very talented. She dances, she sings, she writes. She does a lot of stuff and she's not ashamed to like really show her talents a lot of times. But, I wanted to ask Kyra, um, I know she's uh, well-rounded and I know she thinks about her future, but I wanted to ask you, like, what are some of the things you have um, that you want to, that you plan for your future? Like, what are some of the things you want to get into after you leave BASA or get into high school or into college? Like, what, what are some of the things you want to get into? Well, one thing that I do want to get into is a dance school. Mm -hmm. I've been craving for one. Um, I honestly know that I can join a dance team that is like close by and mm -hmm. stuff. So I asked my mom, she said, 
It can happen. It can happen. Yeah. I mean, and so is that what you the 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 career that you want to pursue when you get older? You want to become like a Definitely. dancer and um, a writer. I got my and own a writer. Story. Yeah, you always got stories. <laughs> so you want to be like a dancer slash maybe choreographer, like show people how to dance and mm -hmm. teach and stuff like that. I have my own dance to Chris Brown, my royalty. I do. I'm gonna have to make a video of that so we can show that next week or something. Um, I mean, and then just I talked about, I said mentioned high school. Have you thought about what maybe what high school you might want to go to? Um, I do want to go to Sarah Good. Okay. And uh, and what do they have like a specialty they teach at that school? Is it like art school or something? Or what what kind of school is that? Is it good academically and all that? Yeah, my cousin goes there. Mm -hmm. And they tell you about it all the time. Mm -hmm. You like it? Yep. And it's That's close good. to family. Okay. Grandma. What about um? I might be stepping out a little bit, but what about college? Have you thought about college or what college you might want to go to, or what you might want to? Uh, how you gonna pursue this dance and writing career? I might go to a dance college. I don't want to go to actual college campus because a lot of things go on over there. So. Uh, you don't want to go to a regular co college campus. Why would they be partying and turning up all the time? I like to focus on work. <laughs> That's good. She she has her head on straight. So um, one more time, though, um, let me uh, let you know again that we are the Barbara A. Sizemore Academy. We're located at 6547 South Stewart Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60621. Um, you can reach us on the web at www.b6, that's B-S-I-C-S dot org, or you can call our campus at 773-651-1611. One six. So I want to thank Miss Kyara for being um, uh, kind of like a co-host today. Uh, I just want to mention to our viewers out there: this really isn't my show. This is just our first show. I'm kind of showing the youngsters the ropes on how to produce a TV show. But next week, you're not gonna see me. It's gonna be all youth up here. This is a youth-based TV show. You're gonna see Miss Kyara here. Uh, doing her thing. I have another guest that will be coming up uh, very shortly. And I just want my callers out there. I know some of y'all out there watching, y'all probably scared to call, but I want you to call that number that you see on your screen. 312-738-1060. Please call in and tell these youngsters that uh, they're doing a good job. Is there anything you want to say? I'm going to run to a video real quick, but I'm going to let Kyara say her last words. Do you, anything, shots out you want to give before we move on? Yes, I would like to give a shout out to you. Thank you. I would you, like to you. give a shout out to my family, including my mother, my father, my brother, and my sister. Mm -hmm. um, my best friend, Amira, and my other best friend, Renaya. Okay. Well, thank you, um, Ms. Kyra. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play another video. This was done um, in the spirit of Kwanzaa. We, I worked on a lot of Kwanzaa projects with the youth uh, going into this new year. And uh, to, right now I'm going to go into a video done by the sixth grade boys over at the Boston campus. And we will be right back. Check this out. Y'all saw that game last night? Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, slow. 33 to 7? Come on, man. They got their butt kicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a strange. Why would have been humiliated? Hey, bro. Oh, man, what you doing, bro? Stop. What, what you doing? It, it don't matter. Single one already dirty. Then why we can't make it better? I mean, we not trying. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Come on, why, why would you do that, man? Let's still, make it better. You still, yeah, let's make All it better. Right. You ain't got to preach to me, though. But yeah. we got to do this lesson in, in, in class today. And have you ever heard of Nia? No, I ain't never heard no Nia, boy. What's that? Man, it's a virtue of my yacht. And it says Nia, purpose, to make our collective vocation, the building and developing of our community, in order to restore our people to their traditional greatness. Have you ever heard that? Oh. Man, you it need such to. a heart. Oh. Our community is already messed up, so why can't why can't we start making it better right now? By picking this stuff up right now. Let's get it. Wow, that was a nice video right there. Um, oh wow, we got a new guest. Now he just came out of nowhere. Now what's up? Uh, 
I want to introduce our new guest here. He's also going to be part of this show. This is my brother, Bryson. So, brother Bryson, tell everybody, how old are you? I'm 12 years old. 13, you mean? You, you just turned 13? Um, oh, yeah, yeah. But um, I want to tell brother <laughs> Bryson... <laughs> I want to I want to give brother Bryson a uh, a round of applause because this is also one of my A1 star students over at Bossa. I I mean when I turn around I sometimes I'm in classroom teaching and I might turn around for a hot second and the crowd goes wild. And I turn back around to see all the wildness. Guess what Bryson's doing? Chilling just like he's doing now. He's just so cool. He brush things off his shoulders. I mean, just so good. So that's why I want to commend Brother Bryson, because we need a lot of young brothers like that out here. So, um, Mr. Bryson, tell us, how long have you been going to uh, this BASA school? Um, BASA, I've been going for two years now. For two years? Yeah. And you enjoy it? Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting, actually. So, I mean, like, give me, like, one of the, what are one of the things you enjoy about going to the BASA Barbara? Well, Sausage I like Academy. going to BASA because it's... Our hair, it teaches about our history and everything like that, and not only, but not our teachers actually actually encourage us to um, give back to our community, everything, mm -hmm. and keep it straight, just like the video you just showed. Yeah, to to keep our community good and invest in it and everything like that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty good school, and the academics are pretty good. Yeah, speaking of academics, like, what's one of your uh, favorite subjects that you enjoy learning about? My favorite subject is math. Math? You pretty good at math? Yeah. Oh, man, I suck at math. I hate math. I used to hate math. But that's good because we need a lot of uh, mathematicians out there, especially those of this color because, you know, we, we need some more rocket scientists out there. We need some people that's out there educating and, and doing something with themselves. So um, tell me, Bryson, speaking of school, like, um... What uh, what do you plan on doing like after you leave Boston? Like what high school do you plan on transitioning um, to? Um, the high school I like to go to is either Whitney Young or Lynn Bloom. Whitney Young, I heard, is a pretty good school. I mean, um, you want to get there for the academics? Huh? Yeah, for the academics. Yeah. That's pretty good. So tell me this. I mean, are there other things that you enjoy doing like outside of school? Like what else? Other things you enjoy? Um, doing? I'm a part of a a soccer league. Soccer league? Oh, you yeah. play soccer? Yeah, I play pretty soccer. Pretty good. Pretty good. I heard you was pretty good at video games. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. What's your favorite yeah, okay. game? My favorite game would be mm, mm, Nintendo games. Nintendo. Yeah. So I, I mean, I, I grew up, um, I grew up in like the seventies and eighties. Yeah. So you played um, Pac-Man. Pac-Man. You know, we. I grew up actually in an era where we didn't have cell phones and mm. computers. That and, sucks. And, <laughs> In video games all the time, but you know, at, at that, I, I, me personally, I think I was born at a uh, just a golden age because I was able to um, see technology um, at its, you know, at its minimum and watch it advance over the last like twenty or thirty years to mm -hmm. go from um, having to memorize a, a phone number. Yeah. Then now I could just pick my phone up and just <laughs> go to my contacts, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, speaking of that, that that brings up an interesting question. So, um, think can, do you think you could survive in today's society or in my society without a cell phone? Yeah, it's pretty easy. I just like stay away from the phone. Like I could survive. I'd just be pretty bored. You'd be pretty bored. Yeah. I mean, how do you think it would be uh, waking up and saying, hey, I want to call my homeboy tonight, today, and then you either got to pull a paper out your pocket and look at the number or you got to have it in your head. I mean, I personally think that um, that that's good to try to memorize things because that's like brain exercise. Yeah. I, I really yeah. wanted to ask you, do you think by us having all this technology, like being able to just push a button or jump on a hoverboard and ride and not walk, do you think that kind of like dumbs down our youth or our society? Um, I, I don't think it dumbs it, but like with the technology, we can we, we don't have to like go to a library anymore or something like that. Right. We can look it up. And... And when we look it up, we have the information. Like, we don't have to, like, walk. Uh, so that's pretty lazy, but still. And with the hoverboards, it's just for fun. Like, you're not just going everywhere on a hoverboard. Right. It's just for fun. I mean, because I think, you know, it's just like, um, 
I think it's like exercise or just pretty much with anything you do. If you exercise or you practice something, you get better at it. Mm -hmm. I just think that sometimes some of the, the youth these days, they're so used to um, having technology do things for them. Like, like I was saying, when I was younger, if I wanted to know the circumference of the earth, I didn't have Google. I had to go walk to the library, look up a book, and they wasn't just easy to just look up a book. You had to get a code and then go walk down the aisle and find the book, then look in the book. So I think that that's like exercise for your brain, not only just for your body, but for your brain. And nowadays, I could sit in my bed and just get on Google and be like, what's the circumference of the earth? And it's going to tell me. So I, I, well, that's what I mean by do you think like some of the things we have these days, like hoverboards, that is making the, uh, our society lazy? Um, I don't think it's being lazy because even the technology now with the exercise, like we have like new socks and stuff like that, it makes it, it actually helps us exercise and everything like that. Like we have new treadmills, like you can exercise at home, mm -hmm. like we have new stuff, More convenient. Like, like like big companies are making really good stuff, mm -hmm. so, so, well, they so are. we don't have to um, just like make, make it terrible for our well, exercise. Oh, look, um... I think we have a caller. You oh, ready good. for a caller? Let's uh, caller. Are you there? I am here. Hey, how you doing, caller? Very well. I'm doing great. How are you guys? We're doing pretty good. Good. That's awesome. I'm enjoying the show. Thank you. Especially this last bit about the circumference of the Earth. <laughs> You know that on the internet there's a bunch of people that think the Earth is flat. Oh yes, I'm yeah. I'm very familiar with the flat Earth movement. Yes, <laughs> flat Earth. <laughs> Just one thing, you know, if there's a there's an even well, what I'm what I'm hearing from a young man there. And by the way, congratulations on your continued excellence in education, fella. It's it's awesome. But there's a, there's another way that you can uh, you can find out the circumference of the Earth. You can use it with a stick. You can do it with a stick. You go out to one part on a sunny day and you put the stick in the ground and you measure the shadow. Mm. Then you go someplace else, put the stick in the ground and measure the difference in the length of the shadow. Mm. You'll see that the Earth is round. That's, a, that's the easy. That's the way it was proven way back when. Right. I was gonna say. I was gonna mention. Is that how? Uh, isn't that how they found out how the Earth was round the first time? Yeah, that's exactly how they did it. That's good. Uh, thank you, Carl. I want to. I appreciate thank your you. call, man. Tune in next week, man. I'll, we'll we'll be doing the same thing, same channel. Um. So yeah. So what what do you think about that, Bryson? You familiar with the flat Earth? No. Flat well, Earth yeah, theory? yeah. I am a familiar with the flat Earth people. At, at first, what I you thought think about that. At first, I thought it was just a joke uh -huh. because like everyone knows the Earth is round. Mm -hmm. But then when I saw like it's a movement and everything, I yeah, was it's like, a movement. I was like, wow. So, have you watched any YouTube videos on flat earthers? Uh, made by flat earthers? Uh, no, I just no. You should check it out because I took the um when I was hearing about the flat Earth theory, I was like, of course, man, this is crazy. Like, who yeah. still thinks the Earth is flat? Yeah. But I started watching some videos, and I was like, you know, they come up with some pretty good theories and explanations. But you just really got to be a fool to think that the Earth is flat. I mean, honestly. So, yeah. But that's for, like, a whole other show. We're going to take one more caller. Um, caller, are you there? I sure am. Uh, first time viewer, great show. You know, the, the, the young man next to you yes. has a head on his shoulders. Because he, he, I knew that when he said, yeah, he can get along without a cell phone. Other kids can't. Listen, when my kids wanted a cell phone, I said, I'll get it for you, but you're going to pay the monthly bill. Yeah. So you better start cutting grass or <laughs> doing something, you know. Now, but the kids now, $100, $150 uh, bills every month, the parents pay them. No, that's why the kids are like they are now. They don't have a head on their shoulders. They get everything they want. When I was growing up, it was just television. But that was it. And then we, uh, we had a phone, but it was hanging on a wall. So, yes, sir, the young man next to you, keep going what you're doing because you're going to grow up to be a great man. Thank you. Get, like all these other kids that want everything for free, and don't want to do their homework, and they don't want to do anything else. Great show again. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
I um yeah, I mean I, I only roll with the best youth all the time. That's why they're down here with me today. Um uh I, I just wanna say I know it's almost time for us to wrap up, right? Um well, well we, I think we got a few more minutes. We got a few more minutes. But um back on well <sighs> I don't want to get into a whole flat earth discussion, but, you know, because we go yeah. on forever talking about these flat let's earthers. Talk about, uh, let's talk about how how they how think the youth is lazy now. Yeah, so, I mean, what do you, how can you defend these youth? Because, I mean, y'all are pretty lazy these days. Well, like, how can you defend that? Like, I, I like what the man said, like, we are, like, I understand we are lazy, but but then my my argument is we have more stuff to do. Like in like in in your days, like mm -hmm. like what did you do for fun other than watch TV or uh, play Pac Man? Man, we was outside back flipping, playing football. You know, like I remember my Saturday mornings. I would wake up and the first thing I was doing was seeing which one of my homies was up when I was up, and I'm like, meet me outside. <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to grab a computer and and getting on a phone. Of course, we didn't have that then. But, yeah, I mean, it was more of physical activity. It was like, let's go Saturday morning. I might watch a cartoon or two. But it was like, man, let me get outside and start throwing this football, play, play some baseball, get on my bike. You know, so, I mean, some youth do do that. I'm sure you're not you're not lazy. I know you like a lot of technology. I know I see you at school with that with them thumbs going <laughs> sometime. But I know you're not lazy, and I know it's for a good, a good cause. So, I mean... How, yeah, so how else can you defend that? I mean, if somebody comes up to you and they like, man, y'all, your generation is lost. I actually had somebody tell me that a few days ago. Like, this generation now, they lost. I mean, how can you defend that? Well, like, lost in, like, in what way? What do you mean? Lost like? as in, um, like, no direction. You know, like, because it's a lot of youth. Like, you're in the, uh, you're um 13 now. I mean, I've... I used to be a mentor for youth your age, mm -hmm. and I'm talking about the bad youth. Like, I used to deal with a lot of gangbangers and mentor. I mean, they smoking weed. They having unprotected sex, having babies. So there are a lot of issues out there that y'all have to deal with. How do you maneuver through some of that stuff and keep, like, a straight head? I don't, I don't know, but I think, I think that's the main reason it's good that we have all this technology because... Because it keeps us from doing those bad doing stuff, like bad stuff. like stuff like that. Keeps your interest. Yeah, yeah. I can say, all right, I'm going to take one more caller. We blowing up on the lines today. Let me take this caller before we wrap it on up. Hey, how you doing over there? Oh, we doing good, caller. Two little brothers, a big one and a little one. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, hey. You're doing a good little job. Little boy, you do the best you can in this world. You teach these children as best as you can. You keep that music going. You find something in this world that makes you excited. You do your little education. Get your ABCs and one, two, threes. Thank you, ma'am. No, thank you, ma'am. You just be a good person in life. Listen to your brother sitting next to you over there. I seen him over early with that little young little girl. She's so beautiful. You uh. keep her dancing. Thank you, you keep her dancing. And you, little boy, you look so good on TV and happy. You have a good new year. And you do whatever you do in life, you do it with the best ability that you possibly can. And be good to your man and put the guns down. Put no more. Your generation is the one that's going to stop it. That's good. Hey, thank you, caller. Thank you. We really appreciate We really appreciate callers like that. I mean, because... Uh, youth these days, they really need to hear support like that because I I do deal with a lot of youth. You know, they got problems at home. They got problems with to come to school. They getting bullied, and they really have nobody to um, like talk to or somebody that really supports them. So I want to thank that caller for all of the callers that called today for showing support. Um, I want to thank. Uh, Miss Kyra, my guest that was earlier today, I want to thank Brother Bryson uh, for being here today. I also want to take uh, take a well, send a shout out to uh, Martel. He's behind the scenes. You can't see him today. He answering phones. I also want to send a shout out to Kyra's brother Christian. He's in uh, behind the scenes uh, doing some photography for us. I want to thank. Uh, Baba Tyler, who's shown a lot of support for our youth over at BASA. I want to thank the principal, uh, Mama Jocelyn. I just really want to thank the whole BASA staff for getting 
Uh, also to Mama Makita uh, and Mama Riker for getting this show and allowing us to do this show and um, get it off the ground. So I want to thank all my callers today. I want to thank my guests today. You did a very good job. Thanks and I want every everybody that tuned in today and called in, do it again next week. We're here every Wednesday, 6 o'clock. CanTV.org backslash hotline. You tell everybody and thank you and tune in next week.